hello i'm sorry that i didn't upload anything else last month i said i was going to but i went through some shit um because of a man i'm just chugging coffee whilst i talk to you so i can feel a bit like a human i wanted to make this video because yesterday i received a text message saying that i am eligible for a covid19 vaccination and i thought i would document the process. I thought it'd be interesting to see um, the emotional and physical um, sides surrounding it, you know, because it's only been like 24 hours and I've already been on, emotion on an emotional roller coaster. Um, so I thought I'd document the process because it's got to be interesting for someone. Um, I don't know who but someone will find it interesting so yesterday i received a text message from uh i think it was like the nhs nhs vaccination rollout program um i've got i think over here what they're doing is that there's certain groups that are being called in one way and certain groups that are being called in the other and because i am eligible due to pre-existing health conditions don't know which one i should add that i don't know which one when i immediately saw the message my like my first reaction was oh fuck yes it was just relief um i guess like the you know everything over the last year has been building up to this moment yay relief um it is interesting not interesting but um as you may or may not be aware there is a lot of uh, news surrounding the fact that the AstraZeneca or the Oxford vaccine is under scrutiny and has been blocked in certain countries. Um, I don't know enough about this to talk about the um, about the political ramifications because I'm aware that it is. Um, you know, there are there is some question over the um, the kind of the uh, reasoning behind it. You know, it's under the guise of it causes blood clots. Um, but I think it's something like there's 37 people have been affected over millions and millions and millions. And I think it, like, they're saying it's less than like birth control, less than paracetamol even. Um, so, yeah, it's the risk is minuscule um, and it might not even be related. It might just be because they are rolling out a mass vaccination program and these people would have been affected anyway. Who knows? Um, but that's an added thing that I'm having to consider as someone, I think anyone who's having a vaccine sort of in the next week or so is probably because it's all over the press. Everyone's talking about it. It's, you know, adding, um, extra thinking stuff. Um, I, my bra I've had a migraine this morning. I feel horrendous. So I'm not going to make much sense. Coffee. I text my mum and I said, look, I'm eligible. I can book my vaccine. Um, and she was, you know, excited. Both her and my dad have had their first lot of vaccinations. Uh, Mum hasn't got the second one booked, but my dad has. Um, I then logged on and booked my first vaccination. Um, with the way that it's being done at the moment, if you're invited in the way that I was, you have to book the first and second doses at the same time. So that's what I've done. I've been able to do that. Um, the first, I think the first appointment was this Thursday, but it was like eight o'clock at night. And I was like, no. Um, I have a, I have an almost three year old, so that's not happening. The first one that kind of made time wise the most sense for me was this Sunday. Um, it's at an kind of industrial estate, like five miles away, like just the top of the town. So it's not far. Um, it's where my dad had his done as well. So I know that um, I can find out a bit more about the process. Um, uh, so I put the first one and then I went on to put the second one and I think it's something like it's a Sunday in June one of the first Sundays in June so that was great so when I got those booked I was just like wow like the feeling of relief and excitement at knowing that this shit show is nearly over um, I know we're a long way from it being over and for anyone who's been more affected than me it must feel you know it's never going to be over but then <laughs> the other emotions kicked in. There was fear, there's been fear, guilt, because like when I dropped Edie off at nursery this morning, I was like, like Edie's nursery workers, they're not, they're not prioritizing key workers. So they probably haven't been vaccinated and they are welcoming in children who 
you know, they're high risk. That's what I mean. They're, they're not high risk as in health wise, but they are more at risk of being exposed to the virus than I am. So yeah, guilt, fear, which is definitely, definitely been increased by everything going on in the media about the AstraZeneca, because that's something I should add. I don't know until I get there which vaccine I will be given. I don't know if it's the AstraZeneca or the the one beginning with P, is it Pfizer? The Pfizer, the Pfizer vaccine, don't know. So um, it's potluck. I think given everything going on at the moment, I would rather have the Pfizer one, but you know, I'm lucky to be vaccinated. Ever since having ED, I've, I mean, you all know how I have, I have anxiety and those issues, um, but ever since having ED, I've had like health anxiety, um, you know, dropping dead, that kind of shit. But like, as, as I said to mum the other day, like, they don't know that it's too soon. They don't know that everyone who has this vaccine could, um, it could make you 99% predisposed to getting cancer that's gonna kill you in like a year's time or 10 years time. We don't know. That's terrifying. I mean, obviously you could get cancer anyway. You know, the chances are minimal, but the chance is there. And I have been very, very unlucky in my life, especially health wise. I was just imagining like, because I'm having it on the Sunday, I was like, imagine, like, what if, if something goes wrong? I live on my own with Edie. Like, she would, and that little ginger fucker. Um, if something were to happen to me, no one would, potentially no one could know about it. You know, it could take a few days for someone to notice that I'm dead. It's getting quite dark here, but this is, this is my brain. So, yeah, that is what this video is going to be about. What I'm going to do is I've talked about, today I've talked about, you know, getting the vaccine yay oh shit i'm scared all of that booking it the process i know that it's different in every country so um this is may not be relevant to you but we are all getting i think there's is there like three vaccines i think there's like three vaccines i know there's the johnson and johnson one in america the pfizer one the astrazeneca one i don't know if there's any others but people watching around the world if anyone's watching in another country, I know I have some people in Australia and America that watch. I'm hoping it could be interesting. I won't vlog in getting the vaccine done because I am too scared of being socially awkward to ask it to be filmed. But, um, and also I'm scared of needles and I don't want to watch it. I will talk to you before getting it done, after getting it done, a few days after. Assuming I'm not dead, obviously. Um, that was a joke. My coffee's gone, which means that I need to uh, perk up and get some shit done. So I will speak to you again in a few days, I guess. So I need to shut the fuck up and start moving. I will speak to you again in a few days. You're being a good girl. You're putting your coat on. Say hiya. Can you say hiya? No. Um, hello. So it is now just under 24 hours before my vaccination um and i just wanted to give you a little update about um how i'm feeling because i'm going to be honest i'm absolutely shitting myself i've not slept all week um i think the the astrazeneca stuff in the news has now kind of been um you know it's uh, that all of the countries that had blocked it i think they're now saying okay we'll we'll take it i, th I think i'm not really paying massive I'm out of attention to it, but from what I can, from what I've picked up on like headlines, I think that's what's happening. Um, but I'm still shitting myself. Like I thought I would feel more relief. I am just terrified. I'm very, very anxious. I'm, I'm scared of needles. So there's just the fact that any injection would make me feel like this, but um, particularly one that is so new. I was gonna say untested, it's not untested, but obviously we don't know the long-term side effects of these vaccines. Um, if there is any so yeah i am more um i have more negative side effects <laughs> sorry that's really funny i'm more uh, i have more negative emotions at the moment than i do positive emotions um i'm scared about like how i'm going to feel afterwards because um everyone i know that has had the injection had the vaccine has had flu-like symptoms and headaches specifically um that's both people that have had the virus and who haven't um everyone has had side effects so i am shitting myself about that because i felt really rough all week because i'm not sleeping very well partly partly due to the 
you know the anxiety over getting the vaccine but, but other reasons as well um so yeah i'm i'm nervous so the next time i speak to you i will be i'll be going in to get the vaccine do you want to go and choose a birthday present now We're going to choose a present with one of your friends aren't we yeah no oh okay no no can you say hiya hiya good girl what's your name Edie. Edie. and how old are you gonna be Edie. three good girl <sighs> once again i am gonna regret filming from this angle looking like once again looking like an anemic scrotum because um i have to edit this um today was the day of my first vaccine i say was it was supposed to be um i geared myself up for it turned up for the appointment and as i was like trying to go into the vaccination center this just random man said oh you can't go in and i was like a bit rude don't know who you are um and then I, as I got to the, to like the door of the, or like the, to go in, the vaccination head, he said, yeah, you can't come in, um, because you've got a child. I was like, well, nobody said that when I booked it. Nobody said that when I booked it. Um, there was no, you cannot under no circumstances come with a child because i don't have anyone near me to look after her so and i said this to they said no it's you know if there's a problem after your vaccination if you have a bad reaction there's no one to look after your child um so yeah um i have rebooked it for next saturday so i'll speak to you then when it should hopefully happen well hello um back again and all being well I am on my way to go and get the vaccine. Um, I, rather than arrange it with, um, so my mum is running a vaccine clinic. She's a practice manager of a GP surgery. I don't, why do I look like I'm looking over? I don't know. She's a practice manager uh, of a GP surgery. Uh, she's running the vaccination programme. And because I'm eligible, she just slotted, slotted me into her clinic out of breath because it's easier to do it like that because Edie stayed at my parents last night then have either her or dad come over here so I can go and have the, the vaccine um because obviously I've got to go over there to pick Edie up anyway so made sense so yeah I am um I'm less nervous about like the possibility of side effects this week than I was like when I was supposed to have it last week which is good um, I'm more nervous about the fact that it's an injection, um, and I hate injections. Um, sorry, I'm just looking for, I'm trying to get ready at the same time, because I'm marginally, tiny, tiny little bit late. Um, so yeah, I'm, I, I don't like needles, um, I have a lot of needles, uh, with my various health conditions. Um, but I just, I really don't like needles up there. If I can have it in my ass, I'd have it in my ass, but I know they won't do that. Um, because I have no feeling down one side of my body, so then I won't feel it. But it can't happen like that, so I just gotta suck it up. Um, I think the last time I had an injection up here, apart from when I had to have some paramedics come out to me in November, because uh, I thought I was having a heart attack. That's not relevant now, but I was just ill with the flu. Um, had an anti sickness jab up there, and that hurt like an absolute motherfucking bitch. Before that, it was my flu vaccine when I was pregnant, I believe. So that's like three and a half years ago. Yeah, uh, my dog's about to start barking. So I will probably now speak to you when I have had my first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm going to be honest. I'm really, really hoping that like I get some superpowers from it. That'd be really cool. Oh, imagine if like I got... What superpower would I have? I'd have like, I'd have dickhead repellent so that people that aren't complete and utter wankers that don't deserve to be in my life can't come anywhere near me. That would be great. Although I'd be fucking lonely. I'll speak to you later. I'm 
just arrived at the surgery and I'm um, too nervous to go in. <laughs> I'm shitting myself, like absolutely shitting myself. Um, I hate needles, I hate needles. Oh my God. I'm gonna be the person that faints. I think I've said that before. I'm gonna faint and I'm gonna puke everywhere. Like what if my head falls off? My tongue might fall out. Like I need my tongue. I need my tongue. That sounds dirty, but I do need my tongue. Fuck. <laughs> All done. Um, I'm gonna be honest, that was incredibly anticlimactic. I literally walked in, got seen straight away, was jabbed straight away. And was out. <laughs> I was expecting more. Um, it didn't hurt. It went in. She said uh, she, they did it in the non-dominant arm. Everyone that I've spoken to and both my parents said your arm's going to hurt like a bitch a few days afterwards. So massage it. So I'm doing that now to try and avoid um, arm pain and dead arm. But for someone that really, really, really feels like injections, I didn't feel it. It was in and out really quickly. Um, so I am pleased about that. So yeah, it's all done. Um, so I will speak to you again in a few days or if I start feeling side effects or anything like that, let you know. And hopefully next time I speak to you, I'll just say, yeah, all done, feel great, bye. So yeah. Hello, it is Sunday. Um, it's just under 24 hours since I had my first vaccination. Um, and I feel really, really, really unwell, um, very fluey. Um, I've just had some paracetamol and ibuprofen. So that's kind of starting to kick in, so I feel a bit better. But I was awake all night, just like really bad body aches, um, temperature, like chills, headache. Oh, that's a nice cuddle. Um, yes, that is my hairband. Well done. Um, is it going? Yeah, I feel really, really rough. Um, and I'm hoping it doesn't last. I'm hoping I can kick it. And, you know, they, everyone says, oh, that means that your body's having a good response to the jab and you're building up the immune system and all that crap. But Jesus Christ, it's, um, yeah, I just feel really ill. <laughs> I look, I look like a sack of crap. So, yeah, um, you're putting your hair man in. Today is going to be a quiet day. Um, it was always going to be a quiet day, but it's going to be a very quiet day. Um, my arm is really sore as well, like where the jab was. Um, and I feel every time I kind of touch it, I get like shivers of sickness. Um, but I think that's more like anxiety because it's remembering that it was a needle. Um, my other arm hurts as well because I did too much exercise the last few days. Um, so I can't blame the jab on that. But yeah, um, I will hopefully let you know later today how I feel. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm feeling better. Um, it's really shit. If, I'm, if this is going to happen again, um, it's crap, you know. But I know that I've got another, you know feeling like this and my mum said it could be um it should be less than 12 weeks um so yeah i'm fingers crossed i start to feel a bit better i also have almost run out of tablets so i get the feeling it's kind of going to be a tablets around the clock day just to get me through i could do with some cold and flu tablets to be honest but i'm not going out <laughs> Bye. Oh God, I still look like a ball sack. I look like a scrotum. Um, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon now. I still feel so ill and I feel really, really, really sick. I basically spent the entire day just zonked out. Um, oh, I just, I don't feel good. Um, I'm hoping that if I get a good night's sleep tonight, that um, I might feel a bit better tomorrow because this is just crap. This is really, really crap. 
it's good because it means the vaccine's working and my immune system's working I guess but fuck me I'm just wiped out uh, my knees are so so I can't remember if I said earlier but I have reactive arthritis or viral arthritis so ever since I was 14 when I get like a really bad flu or virus my knees swell up and hurt and it like lasts for weeks after the illness ends um, and my knees are really bothering me so I don't know whether it's you know it's a reaction to what my immune system's doing but it's just a bit extra crap really um, I'm gonna go downstairs now do Edie's dinner and then put Edie to bed are you winding your doggy up are you winding your doggy up <laughs> I am two days post jab. I feel much better today, um, thankfully. Um, I've got a very sore arm uh, where I had the jab. Um, I can't really lift my arm up above that. Uh, that's to be expected, I guess. Um, and yeah, I feel, I don't feel 100%. I feel quite, um, I feel quite drained and um, just not not quite myself and I've got really bad pain in my um, joints where I usually have pain it's just worse um, so yeah um, I'm hoping that that's like the worst of it over with now until I need to have the next one I'll probably end this video here because there's nothing else of interest to say yeah um, I'd be interested in uh, I'd be interested to hear anyone else's experiences with uh, the vaccine, especially the AstraZeneca one, just because that's the one that I had. Um, yeah, if you are due the vaccine and you are kind of anxious about it as I was, then hopefully my video will make you feel a bit less anxious. Hopefully not more, because that wasn't the intention. So Edie, can you say bye? Bye. Wave, say bye. Goodbye. Can you blow a kiss? Good girl. See ya.